Hey, what's up guys? It's Morgan and Angie with The Shift from People Pleasing to Living and Loving Fully. Today we are going to be talking about, are you comfortable being you? Really ask yourself that. Are you comfortable being you? Here's the thing. People pleasing is most often driven out of this discomfort with ourselves we find that when we can try to please everyone else, it can kind of help fill the void in us that feels like we're not good enough or we're not the way we're supposed to be. If we can get other people to like us, it might somehow convince us that we're likable. And it just ironically doesn't work that way. It just leaves us to wanting to please people more and more and more in order to feel good about ourselves, which doesn't really fix the real problem. I've been reading a book recently by Carol Tuttle called The Child Whisperer, trying to learn how to navigate this whole parenting thing, because I'm still very new to it all. And one of the most important things she said in her book that you can say to your child right now and always is, I want to teach you to be happy being you. I'm going to say it again. I want to teach you to be happy being you. She pointed out what a powerful attitude that brings. Giving that to your child is such a beautiful gift. And if that is so powerful for a child to understand that, how even more important is it for us to understand that? Because we can't really effectively implement that for our child if we don't believe in it ourselves. So a big part of why me and Angie do what we do is because we want to teach all of you to be happy being yourselves instead of feeling like you have to be a certain way to receive this acceptance from people that's not even really acceptance for you. We have this belief, and so many of us have it since we were a child, we were raised with it, and it's this belief that we have to earn love and acceptance. But the truth is that you will never be more lovable or acceptable or deserving than you are right now. Say it again. The truth is you will never be more lovable, more acceptable, or more deserving than you are right now. And when you can choose to realize that, that's when the people-pleasing falls away and the real you starts to actually live. And Maureen, I wanted to add, can you imagine if when you were little and I was little, like in our culture, it wasn't, this is not a normal thing. Most parents don't go around saying, you know, I want you to be happy being you. Right. I mean, that's just, it's, it's just not that common. And can you imagine though, that if we were raised that way by both parents, how we would feel? Um, And this is not a reflection of our parents right? It's just like, this was not something that was known to do really, but just how much more lovable that we could feel. And I, and I don't want to put it on our parents again, but it's, or our, our, our society, if our society viewed things like this, how much different we would feel because what you said was so powerful. And I just want to have you listen to what she said again, because she said that you will never be more lovable or deserving than you are right now. That means that there's nothing more that you can accomplish in your lifetime or that you have to prove to yourself or to anybody else in order for you to be more loving and deserving. That's kind of good news, isn't it? Because we put so much pressure on ourselves to be something more than we currently are. And we're not against growth, of course not. I mean, that's what we're all about, growth and, and stepping into your best potential. But we're about how you do that on your journey of growing. How do you accept yourself and love yourself and embrace yourself as you're making mistakes along the way and being human? You know, getting rid of that harsh self-judgment. So I think that's really important. And what Morgan's pointing to here is what we call empowered loving. We're, We're really considering switching to, instead of saying living and loving fully, empowered loving because Morgan and I are so much about empowerment and not giving our power. That just means not giving our power away to things and people outside of us. We're very much into empowered loving, which is believing that you are deserving and worthy of love right now. And see when that happens, you will actually start to act on 
things and, and that could be better self-care that could be sleeping in longer or doing meditation or prayer or journaling or whatever um any sort of action exercise eating right yeah that you start to act on that because you have more confidence that you deserve it yeah Brene Brown says in her book, Daring Greatly, which I highly recommend, that in all her years of studying people, the amazing thing to her is that when she went to study people who felt like they had loving and and awesome relationships in their life versus people who didn't, she said the only measurable difference she could find was that those people who had loving and awesome relationships in their life had them because they felt worthy of them. They felt worthy of love. So the love was there. And it's so mind boggling if you think about it, but think about it this Mm -hmm. way. Just it's, it's because when we feel good about ourselves, we take different action. So if you feel like you Mm -hmm. deserve love, you're going to take action and bring people into your life that make you feel loved and accepted. So it's such a powerful thing. The, this this whole journey of healing, you know, that me and Angie have been on that we try to promote other people to do is to let go of that people pleasing and to instead really start to love and accept yourself where you're at just right now. And it can be hard at first because again, it's probably never been demonstrated to you before what loving yourself actually looks like. But right. a good example of that is to just start giving yourself a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. When things go wrong, you don't have to harp and, and be so mad at yourself. You can say, you know what? This didn't go the way I wanted it to. And that's okay because I'm human and I'm learning. And things are going to work out the way they're going to work out. That's just one small thing you could start to do for yourself today to stop people pleasing and start being more loving and accepting of yourself, which will only allow you to be more loving and accepting of others. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment down below your thoughts on people pleasing and being comfortable with you. Remember, this is not an easy journey, but we are here for you guys to help you make this transformation. So please subscribe to our channel. Thank you again for watching. This has been Morgan Angie with the shift from people pleasing to empowered loving. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.